uh, 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 writing back out saying, mm, we don't think you should do that. How about doing this? Uh, the idea was to have a joint correspondence instead of Elizabeth Mark saying, Richard, where's the other half of the correspondence? Mm -hmm. We had it coming from the Cherokee Nation, but not going out. Where it is, I have no idea. We had a nice big book, but the problem is the, uh, the meeting, uh, uh, the Joint Council in, uh, uh, in Tulsa uh, was around the bend, and the, the volume one still was not finished until once again the light bulb went off and, uh, over Daniel, and he said, Richard, cut it in half, and you're done. So volume one got slashed in half. <laughs> <laughs> the Cherokee Nation was overjoyed and the Eastern Band. They both were contributing to this project. Uh, uh, the Eastern Band was uh, ecstatic too uh, and we were thankful we had volume one out uh, pronto. Now, that meant that volume two had um, uh, volume two was almost done when Daniel had the brilliant idea of splitting it off from volume one. If you take a look at it, both volumes are nice and thin by comparison to the rest of the volumes. Uh, that's because they were supposed to be one volume. But it was, what, oh, I guess about four or five months after volume one that volume two came out. Disaster. Ever since then, everybody has been complaining. How come you can't churn out the next volume as quickly as you can volume two? Well, let's have a, have a look at what, uh, at what we uh, had in those first two volumes. Uh, this was a mission 365 miles, practically to the day of a year. Uh, 365 miles uh, from here in Salem uh, to that uh, uh, great nation, as Horace Gottlieb Spangenberg called them, the Cherokees. Uh, the Cherokees, being uh, uh, very, very smart, figured out that they could have a barrier uh, between themselves where they could live in peace and let the Europeans on the other, stay on the other side of the mountains, the Great Smoky Mountains, Balsam Mountains, uh, the Black Mountains, some of the most rugged terrain east of the Rocky Mountains. How do you get there? It's quite simple. You try. State 77 or US 52. Up here, of course, it's with Phil. You come down US, uh, US 11 and Pingo. There is where our mission was, in place in northern Georgia. Georgia. Um, and so our missionaries, of course, set out from our, our, our nice, cozy settlement congregation here. Uh, 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 in Salem, uh, first of all, Abraham Steiner, our pioneer uh, uh, missionary, uh, another of our missionaries, uh, I, I believe it was Jacob Volfer, uh, tuck tied and said, I don't see how he manages to be such buddy buddies with the, with the Cherokees. All Abraham Steiner does is sit up to all hours of the night drinking whiskey and talking politics with them. <laughs> Bingo, he had an instant in. Um, 
here in Salem, uh, PPC tried to provide the best of materials to go out there, including a nice Xerox of the time with the quill pen, uh, a, a copy of the, of the seal of the War Department of the United States of America. Remember, it took a while to get this operation going. Lots of wars, French and Indian War, American Revolution, skirmishes with the uh, uh, Native Americans, Cherokees. Uh, 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 it took till 1799 and 1800 uh, before we really got going. Uh, it didn't. Uh, our efforts. Uh, of course, were to bring the gospel to the uh, 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 to the great Cherokee nation. Uh, for Christ died on the cross, not just for uh, Europeans, uh, 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 but for all people. Uh, as our, um, our liturgy, uh, 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 one of our liturgies says uh, that in, 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 until thy thine arms stretched out upon the cross, receive us up. That's important. Uh, Cherokees uh, had a different mind. When Abraham Steiner said, we will instruct you in the gospel, they heard bingo, school, education. That's the only way you can, uh, 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 can keep up or, uh, uh, or, or fit in with these Europeans. We have to get ourselves educated and organized. Uh, it took Abraham Steiner a little bit of negotiating, probably a few bottles of, uh, of the local uh, uh, juice, uh, uh, and many uh, late nights, uh, until we finally worked out a deal. We will take four pupils, and we will preach the gospel. And the Cherokee Nation grudgingly said, well, okay, you can set up at James Van. He's a wild man anyway. But we did not have the most important ingredient for a school, a teacher. And Rosina Cleese Gambo. Uh, she was the head of the female seminary up in Bethlehem. She had called out to the Delaware uh, 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 David Steiner's uh, uh, vision to the Delaware uh, with Bishop Losteel. Uh She was uh, very, very interested, obviously, in mission. When uh, uh, John Gamble here in Salem needed a wife to go out there, the perfect choice, Northern uh, 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 Provincial Elders, Elders Conference declared the obvious choice is uh, Anna uh, Rosina Cleast. Uh, uh, they asked the Lord, while PEC down here was asking the Lord, anybody else here in Wachovia uh, uh, available? Uh, and most of them had gotten the word from Elizabeth Fulfart, you never want to be the wife of a missionary, especially out to the Cherokee Nation. <laughs> She had to admit she was not a missionary's wife. Um, and so the replacement PEC came up with was John Campbell and Northern Province had his wife, and Anna Rosina Cleese Campbell. They uh, uh, got married, uh, uh, toured the community of Bethlehem, and had co tea and coffee with people, set out for the Cherokee Nation. We were all sent. For uh, the next three volumes of uh, the records of the uh, uh, Cherokee, she was, uh, Anna Russell was a remarkable lady, uh, including uh, brewing uh, coffee out in the uh, Cherokee Nation, two thirds part uh, okra and one third part coffee. You can stretch the coffee beans, and yes, she counted coffee beans. Um, uh, as a teacher, she was, uh, she had, uh, she sent four or five, I believe, students to the Cornwall School in Connecticut for further education. 
and on their way they visited Mr. Jefferson and Madison and Monroe and uh, stopped at the tomb of George Washington on their way from the Cherokee Nation uh, to uh, uh, to the uh, 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 to Cornwall in Connecticut. Um, I'm rather disappointed with the volume four. I expected lots of warfare. <laughs> I should have known better with uh, having uh, worked on the volume 12 of records of the Moravians in North Carolina. When it came to warfare, the Moravian ministers uh, writing the diaries always dunk. They're not going to put anything for inflammatory in the diaries. It's, uh, we had only one example in civil war, and that was Jacob Seavers uh, baptizing, giving middle names on Ulysses and Grant <coughs> to two little boys out in Pennsylvania. I don't know whether they, they ever got the idea. Uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the warfare that uh, we had in volume volume four that was close to the, uh, our mission was with the Creek Indians, and yes, it was this guy who was successful at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend, which shot his uh, reputation up almost as much as uh, shouting your fire on television. Um, yeah, um, now wait a minute, now remember, this guy is, uh, uh, he, we liked it. He brought us the mail. At least we liked him then. Remind me of mentioning later on. <laughs> okay, here's my favorite. Uh, the volume five, uh, uh, I asked uh, Northern Province if uh, we could use that on ourselves. Uh, uh, painting of our trip out to the uh, uh, to the Delaware Nation, where a tree almost fell on Brother uh, Loskill's head. Uh, uh, not only that, but but well, it's a sad volume. Most of the volumes, I hate to say it, end on a sad note. With the death death of Anna uh, uh in 18, 1821. Um, John Gambold was so, had so much fallen in love with his wife. Now, when you're married by the Lord, you hadn't seen each other. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, uh, John Gambold had the, shall we say, neck. He had three wives in his uh, 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 in his lifetime. The first one he died. This one is the second one. And over um, And almost every single letter he wrote, he would put in uh, John and Anna Gamble. Anna Russell Gamble. Um, he always, always mentioned his wife in his writing. He was, uh, he was a smart man too. <laughs> Um, volume 5 also contained a last-minute edition of the memoir of uh, Margaret M. Crutchfield, and it took a great deal of searching around the University of Michigan, uh, 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 discovering it uh, uh, at the Free Library in uh, uh, the publication that, uh, uh, of the American Board, uh, and uh, discovery of uh, uh, of a copy in the Free Library in Philadelphia, uh, and also the copy that we used, a uh, fellow by the name of Mr. Crutchfield. Uh, maybe it was a relative of Crutchfield in a volume of records, Cherokee. But he had bought it at a uh, yard sale, and uh, uh, that's the copy we used through the uh, 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 Dr. Taya Miles at the University of Michigan. Um, a little bit extra uh, was that in that volume five, we have a catalog of students at Spring Place, and it is uh, 
um, courtesy of the Moravian Archives in Bethlehem. I don't know why it wound up up, up there, except, well, Brother Bishop perhaps uh, 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 took it with him back to his hometown of, uh, of Bethlehem instead of uh, 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 instead of sending it back to Salem, where it really should have belonged, but we're delighted the northern province it keeps it. Uh, um, Cherokee, of course, could care less about all the Moravian history and this stuff. What they want is Cherokee, of course, and who's who? And who are, how are they related to their ancestors? And brother, something like this thing listing parents uh, in the child's age, the remarks of went home or a wall at school, a truth at school, uh, etc. Uh, it's a gold mine for the Cherokees. Now, in that volume five, there also Anna Russell went on and on and on, talking about the good Dr. Luther. While you figure out, oh, wait a minute, 1870. Mm -hmm. uh, and 300th anniversary of the Reformation, please. Uh, remember the big blowout that the uh, uh, Lutherans had just this last year, 500th anniversary. Did it measure up to the quincentennial? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, volume six um, is when we uh, started a second volume, and I had to had to pull this thing out. <clears throat> we have a uh, a, uh, uh, a a review of the publication, and it is a um, oh dear, I had to look the word up. Quotidian. Quotidian. Daniel, of course, would know that in an instant as well. What do you expect, said Daniel, when you're working with diaries? It's a daily affair. Yeah, occurring every, uh, every day. Commonplace that you have to wade through. And, and uh, if you are a scholar of all the daily mundane things. And then look at this lovingly curated, as always, by editors Daniel Cruz and Richard Starbuck. Let's retire on, the, on our alarms, Daniel. The guys <laughs> That's the new mission. I have never run across a place that had more spellings and misspellings. And finally, they gave up, our missionaries did, and they just drew a line from the first letter to the last letter and left it blank in between. Uh, one of our mission, uh, missionaries tried to change the name to Koa. Made a mistake. He did. Did he ask PBC for permission? PBC has the COA written into the letters. What's the COA? That's the name yours? No. And so it remained. Like that. That's our official spelling of it, even though our missionary sometimes would forget. A brand new house uh, built by a neighbor that we purchased it. Uh, purchased it from. Let's remember the looks of that house. We'll meet it again. Uh, volume 7. Oh, that uh, reviewer also noted that the. Uh, uh, that the. Uh, does it? No. That the uh, subhead sometimes have made sense. Uh, this one is, uh, let's see, I think a five-part, four-part uh, uh, march to remove it. It takes a long time to finally realize you're not going to be able to stand up like the Dutch boy holding the worm of, 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 of the dam of, of all those Europeans who are flooding your country. Volume 7 had the death of uh, three notaries. 
old chief, Path Killer, who had been principal chief for uh, since the uh, late 1700s, 1790s, I think. And it, uh, he was uh, very, very well respected. But the one who, uh, the one who, uh, had, who was our uh, second principal chief, uh, uh, Charles uh, Renata's Hicks, uh, uh, um, uh, a member of our Arabian mission. Uh, he was the one who was doing, actually doing the work as principal chief and uh, chief path killer and having somebody who could take on all the work was smart enough to say, I'll relax, you do all, all, uh, all the tough stuff. Uh, 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 Charles Renato's Hicks uh, had a a notable handwrite signature, sort of like a stamp. Uh, yours affectionately, C-H-R Hicks, with the curly cues, sort of an official seal. I want that for a teacher. Uh, and finally, of course, at the end, uh, the death of John Campbell himself after 22 years in uh, mission work in the Cherokee Nation. And somehow I managed to put two and two together because the missionaries were writing back that, hey, Sally, uh, Sally Hicks is at, uh, 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 is at the girls' school. Why don't you have David Welfare paint her, uh, uh, her portrait? And son of a gun, old Salem Museums and Gardens had a picture of it. It doesn't have the original, but here's the picture of Sally Hicks. Uh, uh, the, uh, excuse me, Sally Ridge. Uh, uh, she's the daughter of Major Rich. Uh, uh, Sally Rich uh, uh, did, did indeed sit for Daniel Welfare and Old Salem Museums and Gardens is still looking for uh, uh, the portrait to actually be uh, given uh, uh, to, uh, to the museum. I'm hoping someday they, they will latch on to it. Why you may it's at the printer now. And it's when uh, uh, Anna Rosina Cleese Gamble saw uh, student Elias Budino Buck uh, was uh, his English name in the Cherokee Nation as a child. Uh, uh, but a lot, he took the name Elias Budino, uh, Budino as a uh, honoring the uh, uh, the gentleman, I believe he was, uh, oh, he was a uh, 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 care for, for missions. Uh, uh, I believe he was living in Philadelphia. Uh, but Elias Boudinot also uh, had the advantage of Sequoia's syllabary, where he could uh, set up a printing press in the Cherokees, uh, in the Cherokees capital of New Echota, and churn out a printing of a, a newspaper. Thanks to the uh, uh, in, uh, industriousness of our missionary, Johann Renatus Schmidt, uh, uh, we were signed up here in Salem with seven subscriptions to the uh, Cherokee Phoenix seven subscriptions. It turned out year after year after year. How many copies does the archive have? Not one. Oh, this one we got from, believe it or not, University of Georgia, which uh, was kind enough to grant or grant us uh, to come up with the image, and uh, that's what's at the printer now. But more important, from a missionary's point of view, you could uh, have your Moravian Church litany uh, published by Eli Elias Boudinot, uh, and uh, uh, you can have it 
uh, in the Cherokee syllabary so that uh, young Henry Clowder figured out all he has to do is to memorize the 88 pronunciations of the symbols and then he pronounces it, whatever it is, a, a tract from American Board of or American Tract Society or, or wherever, and he can, he can uh, pronounce the syllabary and all the Cherokees from little kids to older people understand exactly what he's saying. Um, Henry Clover, though, has the foggiest idea what he actually said. <laughs> we never did learn the Cherokee language. Daniel? No, not yet. Greek, Latin, uh, uh, German, French, yeah, all those. English, oh, thank goodness. Um, um, but Cherokee, uh, uh, he leaves it to, uh, 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 to Henry Clark. Um, um, I'm presently working on the volume nine records, Cherokee, and it is the end of the uh, uh, the mission at uh, at Uchkolaki. And in fact, I think too, it's the end of the uh, mission at Spring Place. But here's our map, of our picture of uh, Uchkolaki. Remember what it looked like back in volume four of records Cherokee, Ooh, excuse me, six of records Cherokee. And here's that spot today. Here's the Georgia marker, which I hope has been put back after the state of Georgia straightened out the road. And believe it or not, Georgia is about the only one that spells it with a T. I blame Bishop Hamilton. That's another story. Here's that picture again. Uh, volume 10, we finally will get up to, uh, to the removal of 1838. And the dust jacket will have this, which John Binge, a uh, Cherokee delegate to the Cherokee, uh, to Washington, stopped in Salem and wrote in uh, uh, Sister Luda's uh, 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 autograph booklet, wrote a nice little thank you, uh, enjoyed the stay, uh, 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 hope to see you later, bye. And that's going to be on uh, with a translation by, uh, I believe her name is Anna Sixkiller. Uh, uh, that will tell exactly what the uh, 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 what John Bench wrote. Oh, uh, he's not noted to have a, an appreciation for uh, for uh, uh, for missionaries, but it seemed that uh, of all the missionaries, the Arabians were the ones the Cherokees could tolerate more than any other. Now. What's the future? Volume 11 begins uh, in New Lands. And the first document of Volume 11 is Miles Fulton's travel diary uh, on, the ch on the trail of the Trail of Tears. And oh boy, he starts out with joy. We had, oh, oh, did you have to say that? I didn't just say, oh, we're so sorry to have, uh, to be like, to that the Cherokee have to have to just be disrupted from their homeland uh, and move 1,500 miles out to where they in the middle of winter too. And this is the trail that they took. Uh, our, our three men, our Moravian missionaries, Brother Schmidt, uh, Ruda, and uh, uh, and Miles Fogler to get out into the uh, uh, lands beyond the, uh, uh, the Mississippi uh, up here in this area in eastern Oklahoma where the Cherokee Nation 
uh, resides today. Oh, that's about it. I ran, whoop, only ten, five minutes long. Um, here's my roadmap of how I put these things together. I try to look ahead and map out future volumes. Victoria, my daughter, our daughter, uh, 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 says, how many of our volumes? Uh, it's all in there somewhere. Uh, in 1838, beginning there. Thank you. Wait a minute. Thank you all. Who's up next? <laughs>